Hello everybody, this is Dorfin Support Team. Now this video will teach you how to recover lost data from Seagate Enterprise SED hard drives. SED equals to self-encrypting drives. It has firmware locked to protect the user's data. Now let's check how to recover the lost data from different data recovery cases. If the hard drive has bad sectors, users can use the DFLDDP to recover the lost data directly. But if this kind of hard drive has firmware damage, then it's necessary to repair the firmware failure and then recover the lost data with the DFLDDP. But to repair the firmware failures, users need to unlock the firmware error first, and then you can access to the firmware modules and repair them. If the hard drive has physical damage, users can use the DFL physical head and flutter swap tools and swap the heads and then check if the firmware is damaged or not. And finally, users can use the DFL DDP to recover the lost data. Now let's check how to unlock the Seagate SED hard drive and recover lost data. This is the key point of this video. How to unlock the SA and repair the firmware failures. Let's go to the DFLC panel. I have collected this Seagate Enterprise hard drive to the DFL SRP hardware. I have collected to the SATA 0. Now enter the Seagate. Power on the hard drive. Open the COM port and we will see the terminal messages output by this hard drive. So we can see, now we try to use Ctrl Z. So we cannot enter the T prompt, the F3 T prompt. If you cannot enter F3 T prompt, you, can, you cannot input any commands to repair the firmware damage. So the, this video will teach you how to enter the F3 T. That means how to unlock the service error. We can enter the program. No T, no F3T. So the firmware is locked. Now we need to unlock it. So first, we need to back up the ROM. Remember, this is very important. To back up the original ROM. Let's try to check again. We can see that the module list is empty. The firmware module list is empty. So you cannot access to the firmware modules at all. OK, let's back up the ROM. We cannot back up the ROM by ATA. Even if it's ready, you cannot back up. Back it up. Let's try. So for such SED hard drive, when you back up by ATA, it's still ROM read error. The only solution to back up the ROM is to back up by COM mode. Without short, at this standard command. This standard about read. Now, the program will enter the boot mode successfully and automatically. You can see that the DFS Seagate tool reads ROM, back up the ROM very 
fast and successfully even at this calm mode. Please note, you cannot back up the ROM by ATM mode for this kind of drives. Now let's wait until the ROM backup completes. Only if users learn how to unlock the firmware error for the Seagate Enterprise hard drives, the SED hard drives, the SED, SED hard drives, then users can recover the lost data from the drives with the same methods as users used on other standard hard drives of Seagate. So now we can see the program is backing up the ROM. The ROM is a must for Seagate HDD recovery. It must be original. This one is very important to remember. Let's check again. Now we can see that ROM backup has completed. ROM read OK. Now at this time, we need to generate one unlocked ROM. OK? Unlock. Under ROM operations, we can see one function called unlock ROM. Source. So this is uh, original ROM. This is original ROM. OK? And this is unlock ROM. We give the okay unlock ROM. Save it here too. Save unlock ROM. We click OK. Now we have generated this unlock ROM. Now at this time we need to write the unlock ROM. Write ROM. We need to write ROM by COM mode two. This is 4K drives. Use the 38400 battery rate and click OK. Stop. Make sure we are writing the unlock ROM. Oh, this is original ROM. We need to write the unlock unlock ROM. Okay, write this one. Then you select here, select unlock ROM. So when we are operating on the ROM write, we need to check the ROM parse and the ROM name. Make sure we are writing the correct ROM. Okay, if we want to unlock the service error, we need to write as unlock ROM. Now let's write again. Without yes. Okay, the program is writing the unlock ROM. For Seagate, it's it's easy because even if you have written the wrong ROM, you can still write back the original ROM to get this drive alive again. So don't worry. Now the program is writing the unlock ROM. Second step. So after the second step, step two, then the ROM write will complete. Then we need to power off and power on 
and then send as unlock key then the program will unlock the service error automatically let's wait until the unlock ROM write complete When the Seagate Enterprise hard drive have phys has physical damage on the heads, then users need to use the head and platter swap and clean suit pro. Sometimes for scratches, users need to use the special scratched head comb. This one is very unique to Dolphin Data Lab. So Dolphin Data Lab offers the complete one-stop hard drive data recovery solution. And we have also the partner company. They are selling the head and platter swap tools for all the hard drive families and hard drive, all the hard drive brands. All about the hard drive head and platter swap tubes here users can find here okay the program is still writing uh, unlock ROM When users need to get support from Dolphin Data Lab, users can enter Dolphin Forum, the official forum, and then get supported here. For different products, users have different forums to join the discussion. If users want to download the latest software menus, case studies, users can go to the Dolphin file sharing platform. So this is Dolphin file sharing platform. So users can get the case studies, user menus, the setup programs and drivers, the firmware resources, the refurbishing resources, and head and platter swap resources. So users get complete and professional support from Dolphin Data Lab by the file sharing platform, the Dolphin official forum, And users can also email to Dolphin Data Lab or Skype to us or call us. Okay, so now it's almost 70% complete. Then let's wait. For this kind of SED hard drives, you cannot write the ROM at a higher baud rate, such as uh, 5760, this is a higher baud rate, but you cannot use them. If you use them, you cannot read and write the ROM. You can only write, read and write by this baud rate. This is a standard baud rate for users to input commands to repair the hard drives. For this bad reads, uh, users can use them uh, to backup firmware or do other kind of firmware operations, but not used for input for inputting commands to repair this hard drive. Okay? So for command testing or command repairing, users can only use this, this baud rate. Now the ROM write will be successful 
will be completed soon. Okay. We need to check the knock window and see what is happening. Now, ROM write OK. We can create the program, power off, and power on the hard drive again. And wait until the drive gets ready. Okay, now we can enter the program F3 not ready option details click OK so at this time we need to use one function called send unlock key now at this time the program is unlocking the service error automatically. We just need to wait until the lock window display unlock success. Okay, now the lock displayed unlock success. At this time, we go to the COM mode and use Ctrl Z. Now you can see we can enter the F3T prompt immediately. We can try to use command like N1 to clear smart. Yes, clear smart is completed. We can try the Ctrl Z, we can try V for zero. So zero entries. So after we inputting input the commands here to repair the firmware damage, we can go to scan the hard drive. We firm we fix the firmware, we need to write back the original ROM. After we fix the firmware finger, remember, we need to write back, write back the original ROM. So this is the original. So after we write back the original ROM, then the data is recovered. Then users can get the data easily as how to recover data from other standard hard drives. Okay, so suppose we have fixed the firmware fingers here by these commands. Now we can write back without short 4K drives, write back the original ROM, click OK. Now the program will write back the original ROM and then this drive is fixed for data recovery. Then users can go to the DFL DDP. Okay, the DFL DDP. Yes. So we can go to this DFL DDP and data extraction, set up new project, and if go to file extraction or disk image, then we can recover the most data easily. Thank you for watching this video. So this video is very clear for you to unlock the Seagate SDD hard drives and recover the most data. Thank you again.